A weather radar is installed to detect severe weather and display it on the ND for use as a severe weather avoidance tool. The weather radar control panel is located on the center pedestal. We will now look at the different controls and indications of the weather radar. The one off to switch selects one radar or turns off both radars. When switched on, the tilt angle indication appears on the MD. Note. If there is only one radar on the aircraft, no weather image is displayed when System 2 is switched on. The multi-scan switch, when it is in auto, allows the aiders to automatically select an optimized tilt. When it is in man, it allows the tilt knob to be used to adjust the radar antenna relative to the horizon seen by the aiders. Note, radar 1 is on aiders 1 and radar 2 is on aiders 2. The gain knob is used to manually adjust the sensitivity of the receiver in WX mode or in MAP mode. In this case, the white man gain appears as shown. In the CAL position, the radar adjusts the gain to the optimum calibrated setting. The GCS switch, when in auto, allows to suppress the ground echo on the screen. In off position, allows the normal use of the radar. The four position mode selector, when it is in WX position, shows the intensity of precipitation. In WX plus turb position, shows the intensity of precipitation plus the turbulence areas in magenta. In turb position, shows only turbulence areas, and in map position, the radar operates in ground mapping mode. This is the normal setting. In addition, there is a PWS switch. When in auto, allows the predictive wind shear system to generate appropriate visual and oral alerts. When PWS is active, the tilt angle indication is replaced by PWS scan on the MD.